This conference will now be recorded. Hi friend, this is Alok and welcome to my fourth class where we will do a lab. So uh, today we will cover node configuration using command and GUI and then we'll configure pool. And then we'll go for virtual IP configuration and we'll see like how to modify uh, enter. I mean modify C the I mean how to see that uh, details and all from C CLI and U, U, uh, GUI. So we'll do all those things from here like uh, we will use command and also from F5 itself uh, I mean GUI you can see so many things we'll see hit and all so uh, build uh, first we'll learn like how to configure nodes and all and then we'll jump in uh, uh, Seeing connection like how to check a connection on f5 load balancer So we will today we will cover how to configure partition. We have already done. So I'll show you like uh, We'll cover today uh, partition user role and uh, then web creation pool and node creation and also like how to see the nodes uh, how it is functioning all those things we will see today so if you see here we have created uh, this much user okay so if you jump in any users they are having a, a lockout policy no uh, so they are having a, if you see here we have given only this thing so they are having administrative right to all users if you click any of them you will see like we have given tmsh access okay so go to common partition first uh, let me show you go to users so what we have done till now let me show you we have created first users where we uh, went here and just uh, created here and given name like uh, it, they are the youth local users so i have given name like alok and this is a common partition okay so you user can be in common partition i have given access to uh, all uh, to alok or uh, every user if you are giving a certain partition access access so you need to select here uh, some partition where you want to give access and what would be the role of user you need to select here and then add like let me show you like how to create users so go here and uh, click on create just give a username like uh, i am giving max 01 okay so max 01 is a user name okay i'm giving here username and then his password local this will be a local password which is saved on this local device only we give a password and then which role what role you are going to give are you going to give a administrative role and are you going to give a which partition access so you need to select as a guest uh, whatever you uh, configured your partition you need to select and just add it here so he will have a guest role only and if you don't want then you need to create operator and then select your uh, partition and he will have that role resource administrator can change anything so you can give resource administrator user manager i rule implementer so many things are there if you see uh, let me explain what is that so first if you do a no partition means they don't have a i mean that will take a common partition if you don't uh, select anything okay so first is a guest a guest can view only okay view uh, the thing whatever you have configured operator system uh, operator can operate anything like he can configure the uh, vip and all he can implement the rule but he will not able to uh, create a partition and all he will not have a right and even application editor is like having uh, uh, right to change here his uh, application profile let's suppose he want to modify some ssl profile and all so he can do for it from here and manager can view only manager can view uh, those things but he is not implementer certificate manager can only manage certificate kind of thing i rule manager can create i rule man uh, i rule and even he cannot implement on vip administrator need to implement that uh, i rule to vip so he can create only but he will not uh, allow uh, to add this i rule associate this out i rule with any of uh, uh, what you call ser uh, virtual server so user manager is nothing but uh, user he will uh, uh, manage the user like uh, what we are configuring from here okay and resource administrator administrator like let's suppose someone has joined and he want to uh, you want to give access for some time then you can create resource administrator so resource administrator can do any modification okay 
and then this is uh, like uh, this auditor you know like is a audit uh, the log and all only and the administrative administrator will have all rights all partition access so if you see here it is all partition access administrator means he is able to manage everything so you can add it here if you want to create as my administrator this role and this user and just uh, select a ta message or you can give advanced powershell so what is this uh, this two so ta message access is nothing but you can configure those things like ltm whip and all but you cannot troubleshoot uh, in kernel level uh, there is a two types of shell in uh, uh, f5 load balancer first is called uh, shell uh, advanced shell that is like root user where you can uh, troubleshoot you can configure anything with the kernel level and tmos is nothing tmos uh, T, if you are using tmsh it is tmos operating system uh, and uh, it's a tmos console where you can go there and uh, you can configure ltm box you can list those i mean you can view i mean list when i say list it means you can view those configuration and all so from here so if you want to give uh, uh, advanced access then you can give advanced cell then once you give this access then he will be having both access because this is a root user i mean a root ssh he will do and he can modify but in most of case you will see like only tmsh role so i'm giving tmsh role to this user max 01 and i have not configured any partition for him so same way i'll show you like how to configure partition as well so once you can configured your uh, the sweep sorry uh, this uh, username you need to go in partition and you can create a partition for that user only okay so this is like uh, uh, max 01 max 01 is partition name you can finish it and if you want to allow max oh sorry uh, i need to give proper name wait 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 because you will be confused because partition name and username is the same so so go to partition select this and delete so you can give name like so go here create and from here you give max 01 prod partition so this is a name like valid name like production or something okay so this is like a uh, max has a having production information i mean information access so you can go to user again and you can select this partition so go to max you can not here go okay. so max is user uh, you need to go to max first and once you reached here you need to remove this guest access first so remove this guest access or uh, sorry i have deleted this need to uh, add it first and then you need to do but let me create again max 01 max 01 is the username local username where we are giving password and same password you need to enter you need to confirm and then you need to select what role you have so i'm giving resource administrator or you can give anything like uh, operator so what he will operate he will operate his partition only so you can add it here so he will have access on only and only this partition so you can give access on tmsh also so that he can do a troubleshooting part so configuration like uh, we learn here like how to configure user local user and partition so if you go here you will see able to see all partition whatever you have configured from there so you can see like latest we have configured prox uh, this one so uh, let me go here Sim sync up your box like uh, go where, wherever you have made changes we are on active that's the reason is to, it is asking to sync uh, uh, override this because we have made changes on active so active to standby it is going this i mean we are pushing policy from active to standby so this will be done and it becomes a green so once it becomes green we'll learn how to configure let me follow this uh, 
topic okay so in topic what we will learn today we will learn how to configure node using gui so i all i have already told like what is a node what is a function of node node is nothing but let me pause this video for some time i think p1 came okay wait so this is like uh, we are having a node means there is a only ip address here okay so ip address is called node because without services it is having only physical ip address to this interface so this is called node so node how to configure you go to node and select your partition first like you need to configure node in partition so they all are in common partition so if you want to create VIP in some uh, certain partition, you need to go in that partition and create, uh, you need to click here, create, and then you can give a node name and then IP address and then finish. So node is configured using that one. If you go with the command prompt, so you need to know, like I told, like what uh, what is the root, like what is the wash uh, um, shell uh, option, like uh, in F5 load balancer, there are two mode, wash is called shell, advanced shell mode is called was uh, mode and second is like tmos tmos is nothing but it's like uh, configuration mode what we do in uh, uh, what we do in um, you must have seen like in checkpoint or cisco asa in checkpoint there is a one user root user is there by default and you have to set a password for that and one will be like configuration users same here you can do this is called like uh, this is called tmos where we can you can configure create list modify delete whatever you want to do you can save configuration from here and wash mode as well wash is nothing nothing but this is advanced mode where you can do troubleshooting and so 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 on okay so let's start configuring those things because i have given command to how to modify delete and those kind of things so it's very easy still syncing up let me do it again this box is up should come up okay it will take time because this will be green for sure see so now uh, I'm going to show you like how to configure your node. So first you need to go in your uh, partition. So I'm a loc and I'll select my uh, partition here. From here you have selected your partition. Now you need to create a node. For creating node, you to go. You need to go to local traffic manager, and uh, you need to select node. Once you go in node, there is a no node configured here till now. So first node I'll create from. GUI and second will be from CLI. So node 01 I am going to configure and I am going, going to give IP like 192.168.2.51 and 2 is node R node. So I am configuring this in prod, alloc prod partition. So once you click OK, this is configured. So I have configured this node first node using this GUI and for CLI, I told you like um, in CLI, what we use, like uh, create this thing and give a node name. So in our case, we are using different IP address here. 192.168.2.51, uh, I think. 50, 51, 52, it's a 52, okay. So uh, you need to run this command in TMSH or either you can run on, run from uh, bash mode, uh, shell, advanced shell mode. Okay, if what we do, we'll use TM, TMSH command if we are using from bash mode. Let me show you. Okay, so first you need to telnet your system. Okay, so telneting that one, you need to go to. So I am already in our partition. Okay, so let me exit. Uh, SSH use putty. Uh, which one is active? 192. Okay, this one 10.12.1.6 is the active box. Just SSH with your admin 
or you can use whatever user you have configured they have access so allo can also uh, access using this and can create uh, uh, in his partition and whatever node it is so you create here we are in tmos uh, tmos datum uh, so let me increase the font size will go to new session here change so now you can see here in larger font so i'm using alok user i have configured alok and password is abc at the rate one two three for you all so let me show you it's more larger so uh, you can see like we are in com uh, common partition this is active box and showing common partition so we need to configure this on uh, alok prod partition so i said like there is a shell bash uh, if you run then you will be in bash mode advanced shell mode okay in shell mode you can run anything any command for troubleshooting and all if you want to go in a tmsh a mode tmos mode so you need to use tmsh command to go there or if you want to run tmsh uh, i mean command on this bash mode you need to use tmsh space and then create whatever it is command will take it here like how you do in cisco in cisco whenever you go in uh, privilege i mean uh, configuration mode and you want to check privilege mode command then do, uh, you use do command do show run same like that we you we are using tmsh here we give a space and then uh, we do uh, this thing so i am going to configure first uh, i mean second are uh, uh, what you called uh, node from uh, this one cli so just copy this one simple copy and paste it here so we are done uh, this is configured okay so if you see it has taken so font is more so if you refresh it here again you will see second node will be appearing and it is in sorry sorry uh, i need to delete this one node because uh, i have configured in common uh, partition so uh, it should be in uh, prod partition so how we will delete that node simply uh, where is that server go here open this so see like de delete ltm node ltm node and then node name so we have configured node 02 okay so it was not found because we have given maybe wrong name so name should be like if it is in capital you need to use capital um, in case sensitive you need to use so it is like a small letter i used there if you go paste it sorry if you want to delete go to delete ltm and then ltm and then what you want to delete node so use node and then node 02 so this was there it is deleted if you refresh it here this node will be gone this node is deleted so uh, this way you can delete it from here okay again if you want to create you go to uh, your console let me decrease the size because it is going out of the box so so go to change this one change the font size so i'm doing this one okay and apply so now you can able to see this thing so here it is clear like um, we have deleted uh, that one um, that uh, node so but we need to create node in com uh, not common partition alloc prod partition here so you need a cd command and then you give forward slash remove this one forward slash and then 
we use one minute space and then forward slash you can use and then your partition name my partition is alok prod so once you press uh, enter it will go to uh, earlier i was in common partition and now we are in alok prod partition so from this uh, partition we can create a node creating a node i said like we use create command create ltm node ltm node and then node name so giving node 0 2 and then address address would be 192.168.2. dot so in our case i am using 50 50 and 52 it is 52 so we have created 52 ip address here once you press enter it is created if you refresh you will get it node 0 2 so we are having nodes 1 and node 2 now we need to create a pool here um, as we know like uh, how to create an list if you want to see uh, using cli uh, if you want to see whatever you have configured node here so you can use list command to check your uh, configuration here okay so list and then uh, ltm node and then node name node oh sorry node and then your node name or you can enter then all nodes will come so we are having only two nodes so it is giving all information like how to view i have said like if you use this one this one and then if you give node name then a specific node information will come let me show you so earlier we is using this one and then we are pressing so if you see this a specific node information is coming this ip is associated with this node so this way we can configure node and we get to know like how to configure node using CLN and GUI. Now I'm going to create a pool. We'll create a two pools here. So if you see in node, I told like there is a no monitor. Monitor will be always unknown. Status will show always unknown because node will not have any uh, capability to run services. So if it is a running services on node that is called pool member. So we can use pool. Um, uh, we can use uh, monitor on pool member even uh, on this one also, but we are not having any services. So if you want to use any uh, a specific uh, uh, what you called uh, monitor, then you can use it here. So ICMP you can use it here if you, uh, any uh, other then it will not work because it's a node only node means one single system. So monitor cannot be implemented on this because monitor only monitor the services. Okay, so if you go here, I'm going to create a pool. So creating pool you need to go on local traffic manager then pool and then you have to give pool name. So I'm giving pool pool name zero one. Okay, and I'm going to set monitor like uh, TCP. For now, I am using TCP to show you like how it works. So monitor is nothing, but it is. Uh, it will be. Uh, let me show you here first, and then uh, what what is the like uh, pool uh, pool member? So pool is nothing but a, um, a number of nodes which is running with the services. So they are the called. They are called who is having uh, IP plus uh, service uh, service support. They are called uh, socket and pool member. So they will be having services running on this server. So this can be monitored. This services can be monitored on pool uh, pool. Uh, I mean on pool we can uh, set the monitor and they can uh, use uh, to watch the services from there. So pool is nothing but it is we had with the services. So this is uh, like a guard who is checking like who is available or is not. Okay, I said like in uh, pool. Uh, guard is doing like let's suppose this node is going down uh, it went down so he'll watch that like this node is down then he'll not send a traffic to this uh, particular server he'll send a traffic across the available members not down member so uh, this is the reason we use a monitor here so that he can monitor the services so round and robin method we are using load balancing method would be round and robin for now so round and robin is nothing but this is like a static uh, uh, load balancing method where uh, this uh, LTM box send first request, second request, third request, fourth request, then the uh, fourth request, fifth request come to first node. Like this way it will be working like uh, round and robin. Okay. 
so this is called round and robin so i am using default one okay round and robin this is a static one i am not using a priority activation group i'll cover this point also so here if you see we are in alloc partition so uh, we have already node uh, you can see here like this is uh, the alloc partition we are in alloc partition we are seeing two nodes if it is already existing you need to select it from here node list go to node list and select your services just give a service name i am using customized port for http if you want to add node so you need to give node name and then uh, your uh, node 02 is already exist if you try to configure node 02 with the same ip will give error because it is already existing it will say so we are having a 192.168 dot uh, uh, 52 i think we have we are using here so once you select this this will give error once you finish here it will say like it is already exist because it will create a new node okay so it has taken it should not be taken because node was already there if you go to node we have created already node with 52 ip and same name so if it is like there then you need to select from there otherwise in real environment it will get okay. error like it is already existing so what you do you simply go to that node only and you can select it so this is up services is running on this so you can see it's green and uh, if you go to a statistics once uh, and this two server will uh, handle the traffic you will see the statistics like uh, which server is handling more connection how the pool level is happening pool is uh, serving connection or not once it is down you will not able to see connection here okay so they are up and let's see like how to configure pool using cli it's a very easy in cli uh, go here same way we will do but we will use service port number so if you uh, see here we have configured this pool using gui and it is implemented so now we have to create a pool uh, pool 2 okay Pool one is created using uh, uh, GUI. Now we are using CLI. So I'm giving a name like pool 02. Okay. And member server, I'm giving like, uh, let's give uh, same IP address you can give. So it's like 51 and 52 you can give. And here 52 I'm using and this will be http service i am using rdp port rdp port will be running on backend server like uh, on the pool member so we will enable rdp on that and we'll see like uh, how it works so you just copy this command see it is simple like you have to do create ltm pool and then pool name then members members add only this thing will come in picture uh, when you are adding multiple uh, servers in a single pool pool members so you will go here and you simply paste it so this is created in our uh, what you called uh, which partition it is in alloc so once you go to pool okay so pool one not coming wait wait i think it gave error or something need to check one minute so it's oh existing already existing node is already existing node one so i told you like when you are using same node then it will not come up because it is using same ip address here and same name so it will always give the error i don't know why it is not giving here it should be giving error only once you modify your node name here so node 02 you said like but i am uh, sorry it's a pool it's a different thing so node we are using 51 and 52 it is already this ip is already existing so no need to go for it and uh, uh, you can use 52 uh, what ip you can use pool 02 is already existed what you're saying pool member node is already existing okay with 51 so i believe we have given same node hmm. 
node one oh, okay so what we do we can use it will be giving a address uh, i mean problem because this ip just because of this ip so i'll do 54 here we are having two pool member 54 and 55 so now it will take it has taken so now it has taken so because we are using different ip address for this see so why it is uh, this one unknown because it takes three minutes to synchronize with the uh, pool member because it sends some request to there as per your profile set so we are using uh, which monitor i need to check http monitor so it should not be http because rdp use 3389 tcp port so you can use tcp and remove this one and update once you update it will be red because the 3389 services is not running on this member server pool member so we are having two pool here one is running on 8000 and second is red because 3389 services is not running on this two so go to uh, this server uh, let me active that one also go here let me add two ip address here so go here and 54 and 55 we are using for testing purpose so go in advance add one more ip 192.168.2.54 subnet mask is the 255.255.255 just do it okay and just enable rdp service on this service i mean this uh, server member server for enabling rdp server you need to go in my computer right click and then properties uh, you can see remote here enable if you want to give uh, active directory user access then you can give it from here but we are not uh, using that authentication and all from active directory for now so i enable uh, on this one and then go to another server give 55 ip so that that your monitor can sense and uh, will be active once this service will be running on this port so use advance add one more ip 192.168.2.55 i think i have given uh, 55 and then you have just press okay add it okay okay and then close this one okay so we have given ip address now we need to enable our rdp session to enable rdp session right click go to my computer rdp and allow it rdp from here so we have allowed rdp and now you can go to see here this will be up because we have enabled 54 and 55 c so now this services is running on that very server uh, so what tcp port is using 3389 so you can see like they are enabled they are green so we have configured two uh, pool here using one using a cli and one using gui so they are uh, they all are in a log partition so what we need to do now is like we need to configure virtual server virtual server i said like this is nothing but this is virtual ip which is a uh, facing uh, internet facing ip address i mean external ip address of ltm box hmm, wait let me show you diagram so that you can easily understand why we use whip whip is nothing we are giving uh, virtual ip against this three node four node okay pool member against this pool member what we are using virtual ip address over here so what will happen like any external user will hit that whip he will not able to understand like where the connection is going uh, this uh, our fi box will be handling that virtual server uh, hit and he is distributing uh, that connection um, among the node i mean uh, what we call pool member we have configured a pool a request will come to this whip and we associate our pool with this whip okay with any whip uh, whatever you have configured for that whip and associate your pool member 
so what will happen when someone is coming from outside he will hit the whip and uh, this uh, fi box see the monitor and he'll send the traffic accordingly like uh, let's suppose the service is running then he'll send to that available nodes and he'll get information from there so what is happening here it is happening three way handshake between uh, client who is uh, sitting let me tell you how traffic flow is here so let me draw some diagram like let's suppose here one user is sitting he is an internet access user or uh, internet access user we can say and it is coming here our, our VIP IP address is 172 this is virtual IP address this is not physical IP address okay this will be 172 17 0 dot 100 I'm giving for this VIP IP address. So VIP I have configured here. I am saying uh, if you are hitting from outside, you will see DNS entry, whatever test.com is having this entry, IP address entry. So if you access uh, test.com from this computer, so what is happening? First request is going to your DNS, and DNS is resolve resolve uh, DNS will resolve this name. Okay, and it is a VIP IP address, so it will hit to our, our VIP virtual IP address to uh, our LTM box once uh, ATM will receive sin packet first um, I said like if someone is uh, accessing something so it will come to our VIP first so this packet will uh, called sin packet sin flag sin flag will come to our FI box and FI box on behalf of this packet will send request to the R nodes as per our load balancing method so he'll be sending like this okay available member he will be sending request connection to this available member so once uh, this available member receive the connection he'll reply with cnac once he receive uh, ltm box will receive cnac uh, on that virtual uh, system i mean virtual ip address he'll reply with cnac and then acknowledgement packet will come here again he'll forward so what he is doing what uh, this uh, fi vip is doing is working on behalf of this servers which is behind the f5 and even for customers so it is what is doing he is bringing all information on behalf of this server on behalf of, he is serving all connection on behalf of this four servers so this is called VIP. so how to create VIP? i'll show you here so first i'll let you know uh, using uh, gui i'll show you using gui and then we will jump in cli mode okay so for that you need to go on a uh, local traffic manager in local traffic manager you will click on virtual server and just create option will be there you need to click it there once you click you will have a two pool member here so what i'll do is uh, i will associate uh, that pool member with i mean we are having two pool so one i'm going to do a virtual uh, server i'll create one associated with first pool and sec second virtual um, address will be associated associated with second uh, pool okay so here you will see like we are having two pool and they are having different um, four members means this pool is having two member server which is behind f5 and this pool member is having two uh, uh, this one member servers okay so they are having different different pool so we'll configure different uh vip okay first i'll show you like how to create a vip using gui and then we will jump in cli so same same way you need to go and click on create once you click there recover page wait no wait wait for some time okay let me log in again <clears throat> so once uh, you are done with the pool configuration first what we did first we did a node configuration using cli and gui and then we did uh, you know, um, node configuration then pool configuration pool is up and now it's turn to configure our virtual server so 
in all organization where you go there would be certain uh, naming character criteria where you have to follow like what will be naming convention would be there so you need to check that thing okay so name you have to give as per your uh, environment like i'm giving test vs underscore first is http underscore and then port number eight triple zero okay so first pool member is using eight triple zero port but uh, in a, our whip we are using eight zero it, it is a name only so you can give name here you can give a description okay so you can give a name description and then you have to select here port and ip address so ip would be 172 0.100 i have conf configured for this is a virtual ip address this is not physical it is virtual ip address and then you have to define your port so i am using http only so you need to select http here service port number and then this is profile if you want to add you can pro add profile i said like profile is nothing but your designation whatever uh, uh, designation you have in your company like if you are in it then uh, they give you like network administrator and data and network uh, what consultant that is called profile so we are saying like you are having this profile to this web so we'll do nothing from here I mean simple will go and add the node it here if you want to create new node then you need to click on plus and then you can create a node but we have already do two pool members okay so we are not going to configure pool from here we are selecting existing uh, pool with whatever we have configured right now so uh, once you do from here you need to finish it so this will be uh, whip will be doing what port forwarding if you see uh, his backend server pool member is serving connection on 8000 port number and uh, this whip is having http address means 80 so i have configured name like this and uh, i have given port port re redirection is happening if you see in figure so what is happening they are uh, learning i mean our member servers is on 8000 and uh, they are serving connection on that port only but when it is coming to our fi bip it is working on behalf of and doing port redirection port redirection means your port uh, backend port is 8000 but whip is handling 80 port on behalf of this servers so similar way we are doing from command prompt also so pool is configured so virtual server we are going to configure like this create virtual server and then you have to give the name whatever i have given for now and you need to select your pool member pool i have selected there and then you need to finish so once you finish this will be up so i have already created this pool i mean whip so whip is green because your uh, monitor is monitoring that services uh, of your backend server and it is seeing like uh, we are getting connection from backend server so once you go to resource you will see what pool we have used here okay and even if you want to change pool uh, pool uh, number then you can also change the pool so i'm not going to uh, change the pool so what i'll do is like i'll configure one virtual server one more virtual server using command prompt so go here so give name like we are using name like this only so we are having port 3389 3389 rdp port so i am giving name like this rdp okay and 100 i have given for that one and port uh, 3389 i'll use it here also with this whip 3389 it's like r port number of virtual server i am giving same port uh, there would not be a redirection because rdp will do from there and uh, what we are saying like it's a tcp uh, ip tcp protocol it is 
and then subnet mask i have given 255 255 to 255 because it is a only one ip address so all bit should be uh, up i mean up up means uh, we need to enable all uh, subnet all bit should be uh, what 255 255 255 dot 255 and then you have to use your pool whatever you have configured here zero two we have i think this name we have given it should be case sensitive if you are using a small letter pool here then it will not work if you are using wrong uh, context there then so we uh, we have to go in our partition alloc partition i mean alloc partition here if you see and here also in command prompt i am in alloc partition i am just clicking one minute so you need to copy that command from here and then you just enter so it is saying test pool rdp unexpected name okay okay what we did is like we have not say, we are not saying like here we need to use virtual let me go there ltm so now it will take because we were missing here virtual name like we what we are going to configure virtual address so you need to give virtual and then your uh, name of your web so we have done we have configured in our partition so if you go here you if you double click here it will come here it is green because this service is running on that port okay so we are done with the uh, configuration if you want to check uh, what is configured then list command you can use list uh, uh, virtual address then you will get all information if you uh, want to get detail uh, if you want to see in detail then you have to use this command show ltm virtual and your server name whatever you have given there and then detail so it will give you detail what pool and what is used there pool member okay so i have created task for you as well because I am done with my uh, configuration part, and uh, if you see they are up, so let me validate the connection. I have external user sitting here, and he will access this VIP, whatever we have configured in our partition. Um, if you see, alloc partition is having two VIPs. So build validate one by one. First, I'll validate uh, this upper one, okay, and then we'll see the hit. Hit like are we getting any hit on the server or not? Then simply you click on your whip. You can push your policy from this to a standby. But no, I'm not doing it for now because we are on active box, so it will serve the connection first. So go to a statistics, and all connection will be zero for now. Okay, because here we are not using anything. I mean we have not initiated even a single connection. Okay, so total bit packet, all those things will come once you hit okay throughput how many uh, request has passed through how many drops are there so you can see everything from here so let's uh, start validating this uh, connection so go here use browser and use http because we are using http protocol only 192 uh, sorry not 192 it is 172.17. Uh, Z, 0 0.100 i have given for primary so see we are getting page here i mean uh, we hit on uh, first time so it is going to server 0 2 here we are having only two servers 0 2 and 0 3 so if you hit uh, another time uh, then it, this hit will be go on another server because the round and robin method will be used but before that i will show you like a statistics what is that so if you refresh it here you will see some hits so the in packet this much out packet this much and this much is like a maximum total connection you came and out this much okay why it is size is a double because i said like it's a four way hand i mean three way hand checking happening between um, server to client and server to backend server i mean, I mean uh, virtual server to backend server it is happening so that packet is a double here so here you can see and even for pool uh, if you go to pool you will able to see the pool of statistics if you go to pool if someone is complaining like my pool is not handling connection so you can go here go to statistics and you you will able to see the hits on pool basis which pool is uh, handling this uh, connection so 
we are having two pool here node who is handling connection this two okay and i think uh, let me clear this log and we'll do reset we are on member uh, pool num member one so maybe earlier i hit it so select this one reset the connection so this is clear okay we are maybe getting some flap on something this connection so okay because we are using tcp uh, connection so this will be incremental i said like uh, and this server will be getting a hit uh, using tcp connection once it is established you will see this hit so let me show you like once you are hitting this url from outside external user is sitting here when you hit if you see here this is a virtual ser server which is behind uh, sorry this is a member server which is behind f5 once you click it here it will be going on two three two three like this if you see here it is changing it's now on two if you refresh it will go to three so it is going to three also see this is on three now so it is doing according according to your uh, round and i mean method whatever you are using round and robin or whatever so once you refresh it here you can see the connection so see how much bit uh, packets uh, uh, in and out packets you can see it here from pool they are handling the traffic that's the reason it is incremental requested packet and all okay so first we validated the first uh, whip and it's working properly you you can see either this pool node hit i mean pool member seat here or you can check the, your virtual server hits from there and also one uh, one thing you can do once you are doing rdp connection rdp uh, you know like how to take mstsc this is command to open rdp and just give your uh, num uh, whatever you have configured your virtual ip address okay I, I was using 172.17.0.101 for rdp so i think uh, this is the ip address of this no no sorry sorry this is not ip address because we were using 55 55 or something let me check okay mm -hmm. go to virtual server so 101 and 3389 it is using so go to your this external server one zero one three three eight nine and try to access your you need to enable rdp i think so this is not http it's a tcp monitor we will use it here and also in go to remote enable your rdp try to take 172 17 0 dot 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 0 if you able to tell net uh, this port then that would be okay this is not http profile so you can use none okay because it it will not go through the browser so it is not http profile first thing so rdp is a different protocol which use uh, utility to access some uh, computer remote access computer it's a remote desktop protocol that is called and once you update it here and let it be done and then you can go to your external server and you can check so now you can see um, external server here close this connection and initiate again The thing is asymmetric routing is happening because for this I am not using any gateway. Yes. 
but when we you do telnet but telnet will serve the connection i don't know why this utility is not working but for for sure like it's working for us i mean telnet if you do 172.17.0.101 ip is you there and 3389 this is a way to check your rdp connection so you see like a tcp connection is happening here i use telnet utility to check the connection and it is happening it means our part is done i mean we have successfully configured this one if you do 172.17.0.101 it is not uh, i mean browser access 389 it will not give page because 3389 is like rdp remote desktop services and 3389 here we used okay and we are able to tell it let me try again If telnet functioning means it is this connection is working if you check your whip you will see three way handshake because if you telnet here able to do so this may be a different reason or reason i can i can resolve this issue from here let me try so go to permission access maybe i don't have so this is a admin um, user if you see admin user is logged in here so you need to give admin right to this user first and then he will be able to tell it so what we'll do go it here, go here this is admin i said like uh, this is a domain computer uh, this is part of which domain uh, if you want to see go to computer name and you see like this is this is part of test domain so we need to give a right to this user so select it here and add all users Add Active Directory all users, but my Active Directory is down. Let me on, and then I'll show you what is the issue here. Actually, he is not having a right to take access. This is the reason he is not able to take. He is checking with. Let it be open. I'll tell you how it works. So our Active Directory server is running now, and we can go it here. So which user is login? Uh, this is administrator. So need to give administrative right. Administrative for administrative right, go here. Right click. This one, go and select user. So now it is coming. Administrative right, you have to add search. And then RDP user also you need to select. If not coming, then you need to find this user. Go to advance. Find now. So they are down because Active Directory services was down for some time. So this is, I have given admin uh, administrator access only. That's okay. So administrator is added here press ok ok and then you go to here you go to advance find add administrator ok and then ok again you need to go on third server and do the same thing because for rdp you need to have a right to take rdp access so go here select your administrator so now we have given access let me validate the connection again go here rdp 172.17.0.101 i think 101 i have given to this rdp 101 yes so it should be working no 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 but till net is happening still
we need to give right from access we will need to create one user on active directory and because this is a local administrator may have not may not have right to take remote access but here you see like uh, telnet is happening because service is run, running on that very port so if you go to statistics you will see the connection see if you refresh it will increase if you do again it will increase okay so here we can see connection is coming here on this server okay so if you go to pool level also you will see you will able to, to see the connection throughput so go here okay and go here they are the pool members they are active and they are having hits see they this much packet in but out not happening because that uh, server is not accepting that uh, packet because of uh, they don't have access and they don't have access on rdp they have not given rdp access to that server so this is all uh, we have done with our lab uh, to check if you want to go in depth then you need to capture the packet and all then you will see the tcp handshake and all so tcp dump you can use tcp dump minus nni 0.0 if you don't know any interface then host and then your vip ip address 172.17.0.101 i think i have given or host host you can give or service you can give service port 3389 uh, tcp dump command is wrong because tcp dump we need to write m tcp dump space space nni 0, 0 0.0 and then host i'm giving 172 17 0.101 that's it so now we are started capturing packet tcp packet if you go to client machine if client hits from here if you will do tcp connection you will able to see tlnet telnet space 172.17.0.101 is like um, ip address of web and 3389 it is using port so if you see connection is established here if it is not then you will not able to see this blank screen so now let's analyze the tcp packets so let me show you this is a reset because uh, this connection is resetted resetted means stop by the client now where is that so this is stopped by client that's the reason you will see the reset packet so let me increase this one and from here you can analyze so first what we are doing from this server from this external user 172.17.0.50 is using and he uses our source port source port can be anything uh, within 60 uh, 65300 something port number they'll take from its system and he'll hit the destination ip address with the port number 3389 so first uh, packet will be our uh, CNAC, uh, sorry, SYN packet, because he is synchronization, uh, synchronizing the services on this server. Okay, hitting this server from here. So once he send this packet, again he'll send SYN packet. Okay, and then uh, server will reply somewhere. Uh, you check here. In Wireshark, it will give a clear picture. Okay, so here if you see SYN packet plus acknowledgement, so he is getting CNAC again CNAC because multiple packets in packet comes they are acknowledging one by one so cnac again and then finally client has sent acknowledgement packet here acknowledgement one okay and one uh, once uh, this is done i mean connection will be established and they, uh, here you see two more packages like acknowledgement packet so so if you see here uh, we have done rdp and it is using length this much length versus rdp338 port from this one the all information is coming from here so he was trying to hit rdp connection okay so 
this thing you can get it from sing i mean this will have and once connection is dropped by the client you will get reset packet okay so that's all uh, for now uh, in next class we'll learn monitor and uh, um, then uh, our method uh, load balancing method and all we'll cover in next class thank you for watching this video and just make your note and uh, do practice create your uh, create your own lab if you have any issue, just ping me on WhatsApp. I'll be available. I'll set up your lab. And if you have any doubt, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video.